Hey, good morning everybody. AP right here, Terrachad98. Hope everyone's doing really, really well today. Today I wanted to make a video that I've been afraid to make for a bit of time, but I feel like it needed to be said on my behalf in terms of what I once was as an individual and how I'd had to change myself quite heavily that many people probably thought about me of and I just didn't get told and I didn't get a hard pill to swallow type of comment from somebody about it. But I had to take a lot of self-reflection into knowing this truth. The truth was I used to be a heavy, heavy narcissist. I used to be a massive narcissist. Throughout my high school, throughout my primary school, and even during my younger times, I was a narcissist. This was nothing I was proud of, particularly up to this point where I had to learn how to change myself as an individual. What gave me this revelation and what gave me this change in who I was as an individual basically came down to me self-reflecting and having some sort of awareness of the type of actions that I was putting on top. And I used to blame other people for this type of thing, but in reality, the responsibility was on me. I'm not really too harsh to myself nowadays. I used to be quite excessively harsh and used to nitpick every single point about myself as an individual. However, as I started to develop as a man and as an adult that had to learn how to take on more responsibilities within my life, I had to learn how to self-reflect on these type of things in order to improve upon myself to other people. And one of those things was me being a narcissist. During my younger years, I didn't get enough attention. I wasn't really respected and I wasn't appreciated by a lot of people and I would say that with a whole heavy heart. However, I used those years and I decided to amplify them by 10 to get any single type of attention that I would need via social media, in person, and I had to make the conversation about myself all the time. It became so bad when I was in primary school that I felt like I had to take the lead and I had to take the initiative with everything. I had to take on people's problems. I felt like I was Superman in reality that I wasn't a Superman. The type of person that I was back in my high school, back in my primary school, was something I was not proud of because I could never say the things that I used to say on social media to create outlandish attention and egregious attention to myself as an individual. And it was very, very disappointing on my behalf. There was one time that basically I was getting picked on by a bunch of girls inside my year 10 class. Knowingly well, I told somebody and they made a post about it on social media and basically I was getting a bunch of messages, people thinking that I was getting bullied and you know, people thinking that I was gonna do self-harm to myself because of these type of individuals. In reality, that wasn't the case. I wasn't going to self-harm myself. I was getting bullied by these girls, but it's something I could have literally just stand on my two grounds and I could have just told them, knock it off. It didn't take that much. Yet they got punished for it. I was nearly suspended from my high school for a week for what happened and what occurred. It was very close. And my parents didn't know too, too much about it. They just saw it in the background and that was it. It got school attention, not even just in our grade, but across the entire school. It's something I wasn't proud of because I put other people in harm alongside myself. And then in year 12 when we graduated, basically I called off a lot of people. I, went, I had about 600 friends on Facebook in about 2015. I do remember the numbers pretty roughly. I'm a bit weird that way. <laughs> but basically there was this one girl that said something to me and I took it to heart, very heavily to heart. Very impulsively, I defended everybody from high school, everybody. Except for a few people, except for a few people. The ones that, are, that were the G's, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll keep it. But the rest, nah, they were gone. They were gone. I defriended them all. And at that point, I went down to about 150 friends. So I got rid of about 450 people off my social media. That's three quarters, three quarters of my friends list gone. And then 
in during my younger years, younger adult years in university, I was quite a quiet guy in university. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really talk too too much. In university, I talked to the people that I used to, that I knew through my bridging course and through my university years. And I met a lot of great people during that time, man. And the appreciation that I had for those people were really high. Like a lot of respect to them. And still to this day, if they ever needed anything, I'd let them know, right? Um, but yeah, then I'd resort to alcohol as a way to bridge my issues of this lack of communication or this lack of transparency that I had with other people with conversations that I couldn't have when I was sober. And then I'd post stuff on social media to try and get myself attention via Instagram and Facebook. And it was always moving the goalposts for myself, always point the finger at other people instead of me taking responsibility for the things that I was doing. And the same thing was still happening after COVID. So after I graduated university, the same thing happened. It was just a repeated vicious cycle of the same shit over and over again. It's raining, by the way. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's something that it took a lot of time to reflect upon. And I had to change a lot about myself as an individual and really not make everything about myself. I had to know, re remember and realize that there's, there's other people in this world that are much more important than I'll ever be. They have a more powerful position and objectively are superior in what they do in comparison to myself. And I had to have the humility and understand that sometimes you have to say less than necessary in order to gain your respect. And if it's time for you to say something, say it. Say it with courage, say it with respect, say it with you being you, and that's it. Um, and yeah, that's why I've been much more quiet on the internet because it's me posting every day, me trying to be this type of person that I'm not, it's not who I am. It's not who I am. And I had to realize this that I'm forcing something, it's just not there. It probably never will be. Yeah, I better turn this off before it starts to absolutely piss down with running. And you guys can't hear me. Like, subscribe, 